Uh, we're recording to the cloud, and now we are going. There you go. We're going to go live, live, ladies and gentlemen, live. We're coming to you live. We're coming to you live. I like that. I like that we're coming live. And there he is, Mr. David Dansky just walked into the room. <laughs> or uh, I don't know if he walked into the room or not, but whatever it is. Welcome to our current event show. Uh, it's no longer called the round table, uh, but as you can see the logo, I've scratched out the, uh, the, the, the round table part. I'm working on a new logo, but I can't believe, I cannot believe how difficult it is to create another logo for this thing because, you know, I haven't had the idea yet of what I want to capture. But anyway, welcome to our current event show where we talk about everything that's going on in our lives uh, and uh, offer our opinion. So just remember everything you hear is an opinion. And uh, with that in mind, welcome everybody and happy and a healthy new year. Today is January 4th. The time now in Las Vegas is 5.05. So if you're keeping track of where you are and when you're doing it, there it is. David Dansky, welcome. Uh, you, everybody might look at that background and say, boy, that background looks familiar. And that's not a green screen. Yeah, I broke that, it through your house. <laughs> yeah, David Dansky is coming well, live from Las Vegas. I'm live from Las Vegas. I'm squatting in your house. I'm taking over. <laughs> Very good. Well, it's a nice place and there's nobody there, you know. But speaking of squatting, right? So I, I have a, the ring camera system is really good, by the way. I'm not, they're not supporting the show yet, but I wish they would. And this is not a paid political announcement by any stretch of the imagination. But the ring camera is really, really, really good. And there used to be this thing called rapid ring that you'd use and it would get to the, because uh, there was a delay in the ring, but they fixed that. And so now my ring camera goes off and I've got them all over the office building, all over the house, um, on the outside. And all of a sudden I, I see this guy building a tent city on the side of my building, you know? And so I, I, I turn, I turned on the light and I turned on the siren for a second and I shut it off. And I, then I, I, I spoke to the guy and I said, Hey, listen, uh, you can't stay there. You got to move. And if you don't move on your own, I'm going to call the police. And he says, OK, I'm moving. And he got up and packed up his tent and moved on. So the ring system is good if, you, if, you, if you're not familiar with it. Um, I'm sure there are others, but that's the one I know about. Yeah, my house anyway, has five cameras. It works really well. I love it. <laughs> yeah. And it's a great app. The app itself on the iPhone is pretty good. I'm not sure. So, David, tell us a little bit about why you're in Las Vegas, and uh, we can talk about. Um... It's Toyland. It's the CES show. <laughs> I decided to come for it after a couple of years and look at all the newest toys and salivate. And when am I going to get AI? And when am I going to get you know all the good stuff? So here I am. And on top of that, my wife is away for the same amount of time doing her talent managering thing. And uh, by the way, she's getting uh, introduced with a video and everything because she's talent manager of the year. So they're making a big deal of it. So oh, you're not working? Congratulations. What's the name oh. of your wife's company? Well, oh, Myrna Lieberman Management. There you and, go. Well, I know that, but now everybody knows that. And right? my granddaughter you know? flew in and my granddaughter flew in from Vegas and she's acting as her assistant. She's 20 years old, so she's going as you know the assistant to the manager oh great well this is another reason for people to be watching this show because now they know how to get into showbiz because we now have a famous manager's wife or husband on the show now, now you got one. some connections i'm plus one it's really cool and no i'm not working <laughs> at ces i'm here as a uh, observer to have fun maybe buy a few trinkets from uh, the south building well, this is what I've heard about the what I've read from about the CES show this year. It's going to be very car car um, centered. So there's uh, Sony has a car there this year. Uh, I wonder if I, I doubt Apple will have a car, but Sony is going to have a car there, and it's supposed to be a very futuristic self driving car. Wow. They're also I heard that they're also stressing water management somehow. I don't know exactly how, but. You know, taking drinking water out of fresh air, the moisture in the air, stuff like that. Well, next week when you come back to the show, we will definitely be talking about what you've learned. And, you know, as far as water management, Las Vegas, the city, the, the uh, actually uh, Las Vegas is number one in the world on water conservation. 
I, I don't know if you know this, but they built they built all, uh, about 10, 12 years ago, they revamped, they revamped the complete sewer system and water reclamation system for, for Las Vegas. And I believe it's something like 99% of all the water used in the home gets recycled and reused. So that's pretty intense. And uh, so, um, you know, but it, and the water is the water is some of the healthiest water in the country as well. So, yeah, I heard it's only swimming pools and golf courses that are using uh, water that's not being recycled. That's very possible. That's very possible. I would doubt it, though, because my swimming pool goes through my sewer system at the house. So uh, it must be, uh, you know, uh, I would say that it must it must somehow go through that. But what do I know? Um, I really don't know much. But one thing I will tell you while you're there, yeah. uh, there is a restaurant right by the convention center called the Pepper Mill. I don't know if you guys are familiar. If you have never been, if you're going to Las Vegas and you've never been to the Pepper Mill, the next time you go, make it a point to go to the Pepper Mill. The Pepper Mill is, is the only, uh, what would I say, a one-story building in Las Vegas right now on the Strip. It's right on the Strip. It used to be right next door to the Riviera, which is gone. Um, and it used to be, so. It, but it's right by the convention center, and it's celebrating its 50th year. And so the people that own the uh, Pepper Mill, there's two of them, one in, one in uh, Reno and one in Las Vegas, they own the land. And they must have got, I mean, the land that this place is sitting on is so valuable, but the owners will not sell because they want to keep this restaurant going. Because this restaurant, you know, I, I, don't, I don't get it quite myself why they're doing it. The money they would make from the land would far surpass anything they could possibly make uh, selling food. But well, the, the owners will not sell. The Pepper Mill in Reno started out just like this and turned into a eight or 10 story super hotel casino. So they could do that on the strip too, if they wanted to, they just apparently don't seem to care. But in Reno, the pepper mill is giant, you know, like 10 stories and all the yeah. showrooms and all yeah, of that. The, the food is actually really good. Uh, oh. the, Las, the Las Vegas one, there's always a huge line. And oh. I've actually stayed at the one in Reno before when I was up there doing a corporate gig, they put us all up there and, you know, I had one of these round beds with uh, mirrors on the ceiling. It was the weirdest thing. <laughs> yeah, the twenty-five, the twenty-five cent vibrating bed. You know, it, was, it was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, the food's always been great at the Pepper. Yeah, the food is very good, and it's big portions too. Yeah, yeah it's really good. So I, I would say, if you're going to go to CES, make sure you make a stop at the Pepper Mill. So anyway, um, speaking of real estate values, uh, Zillow. Actually, it's, it's a little bit late news, but Santa Claus House, Santa Claus's house in the North Pole, listen to this, has soared in value over the past year. Even the prices in the North Pole are going up. Santa's Arctic abode, a charming but functional three-bedroom cabin, is now worth $1.1 million. So there you go. I just wanted to let you know that Santa's house, it's not on the market, but if it was, he'd be able to get a million bucks, you know. But, but does he have to pay taxes or is he a church? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, some interesting news today. Oh, I, I guess it's not today, but let's I want to talk about this because it's definitely a, a big story. Um, this guy, Damar Hamlin, his collapse on the field and what it's done to the NFL. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm surprised Greg Baker's not in the room right now because he he told me he was going to be so. Uh, and of course, as you know, he's the human mic stand uh, of NFL Tampa games. Um, but have you guys have have you heard about this? And is, you have any opinions on this, Tino? Let's uh, let's start with our sports fanatic. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just really sad that it even occurred just watching it in emotion and happen uh, Monday night. Um, it just seemed um, surreal, you know, and the length of time that it took for um, them to realize that it was it was serious um, was uh, really um, sad to say the least. I don't, you know, I, I don't know. He's he's still in critical condition. You know, they had to resuscitate him on the field once before taking him. And, I mean, it, they had one. I think he took up at least thirty minutes on the field. He yeah, made. I heard it was more than once. I heard they had to give him, you know, they yeah, had to use the paddles and everything. 
Second time was in the hospital when they re, they started his heart again. So it's it's an electrical thing. It's not a yeah. heart. It's not it's not an electrical thing. It's a cardiac arrest, which is totally yeah. But it's it's yeah. the electrical yeah. signal to the heart that stopped it. It wasn't a stroke. No, so because a stroke would attack. mean that he had a clot or a blockage. He no, he did not have it. They said it was electrical, and they also yeah. that means he's going to wear a pacemaker for the rest of his life, and hopefully that's it. His life will be normal again, except for not playing football. Yeah, and this guy is really, he's, he's such a magnanimous guy. He started this charity, and Tina could tell you, fill you in, what happened, what's the charity about, and, and what was the goal, and what's he done now with this? Well, I mean, he hasn't done anything because he's been in the hospital with it, but it's a charity that he started, um, Toys for Kids, and um, he started with a $2,500 a goal, and it's already over $6 million. So, I mean, this, that's pretty impressive for a young kid, 24 years old, but it's hor- It's a horrible story. But the, on the other side, I mean, they stopped play, right? There are, are, there are no games right now scheduled. Is that correct? Well, I mean, that was Monday night football. So there's technically no games until Thursday. Um, but with that said, uh, they just don't know if they're av- going to play this game or just um, because it's, it really didn't mean both the teams made the playoffs. So. I guess technically they don't have to play that game, but they just still haven't uh, announced if they were or not. Now, wasn't games uh, billed as like the most exciting game of the year? This game was going to be the game to watch? Uh, yeah. Yes, it, it, it was. I was excited to watch it. I sat there with my uncles and watching it, you know, so just a sad occurrence. Yeah, well, that's a sad story. It's the Fred. What are you, you're doing a broadcast right now? Um, but I know it's another sport, but people must be talking about that in your room. Remember uh, Fred can't talk right now because yeah. he's actually broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so let's talk about Franco Harris. Franco Harris, you know, arguably known for the immaculate reception. You guys remember that play? I mean, even if you weren't alive, I guess you could watch it on you could watch it on YouTube. He he passed away at the age of seventy two, um, and he's in the Pro uh, Football Hall of Fame. So may he rest in peace. Uh, Nine time Pro Bowler, uh, an amazing guy. I mean, every time I ever saw Franco Harris on interview or whatever, he was always, he always seemed to be like really a sweet guy, you know, it's Burke yeah, Steeler. Yeah. He actually was, uh, I, I've met him in person uh, three times uh, at, at the Cosmopolitan, uh, checking him in. And I can tell you that he really was um, not only a magnanimous guy, but his personality was vibrant and he was always, always in a great smiling mood. Yeah. And another guy that passed away that I don't know if you remember who he was, because I didn't remember it until I heard it. Walter Cunningham, the last surviving Apollo 7 astronaut, he died this week as well. He was 90 years old. So, uh, I mean, it's amazing what's going on. Have you guys seen any latest pictures from the James Webb telescope? Not lately. No. Oh my God, you guys, I mean, go up to NASA's site and look at some of these pictures. These are, these are real photos, not, uh, not, not uh, uh, AI photos, but these are real photos and they are as impressive as can be. I mean, the, the picturesqueness of it, and it's actually eventually, they're, gonna, they're going so far back in time that they will eventually find the origin of the universe if they keep going. It's so impressive. The, I mean, the thing is, um this what's this guy what's that guy's name is it dyson uh the who's who is that uh scientist the uh black guy he's got uh, an afro and uh he's oh he's he's uh i think his name is dyson is that right isn't is that his name I, ty something right Anyway, I'm watching him on, uh, he's got YouTube shorts and he's got uh, TikTok shorts. This guy is brilliant beyond the scope of imagination. And he talks about all of the things, how science and- Grass, you know, like grass Tyson or something like that. That's it, that's it, that's it. Neil deGrasse. And, and the, the, Neil deGrasse Tyson, that's it. And he talks, do you know that if the sun went out, we wouldn't know it for eight minutes? Yeah. And, and then we would have out. We'd yeah. it. Then it wouldn't make a difference if we knew it. Turned off the switch. That was it. 
That's what it. The, what about the facility that's up in the top of um, India or somewhere up in the Himalayas, where all that they put it's up above six, sixteen thousand feet. There's a facility up there. They've got um, oh, I don't know, sixty odd telescopes. Or uh, yeah. and, well, they're not telescopes. They're actually uh, big dishes, and they use a massive computer to join them all together. And it fo- and it follows. There's a whole bunch of them. I can't think of the name of it, but but there was a documentary about it three weeks ago on it. I didn't even know it existed. But uh, about a hundred people live there, uh, and they all stay at the facility. But it's it's up above, and these things are um, like each. I think each. Uh, receivers like 60 ton or something and they got they got a special they've got a special uh trailer it's massive it's so the it's um anyway i didn't know it existed but they got upward of of um 40 dishes and then they they use a computer to join all the signal and and apparently that uh that that'll eventually that's the that they can see as far as we can possibly see and they, and wow, they, that's pretty impressive. But I can't imagine that they could see further than what they've got with the James Webb Telescope because that's already up in space, and that's got a. It, it's much more sophisticated than anything else. You would think a space one because there's no atmosphere, but that's why they yeah. went to fifty. I don't know the technical thing, and I can't think of the name of it. Um, but it was on a documentary the other day. But it's and it was a it's a joint venture between three countries or four countries or something or other. The um, but uh, I, I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't hear NASA mention, but I would have thought that they would be involved somewhere. But now, are you not getting this confused with with uh, what is it, uh, uh, Pine Knob? Where's that one? That's in that's in your country, Pine Knob. Oh no no this this one's built above like it's it's fifteen thousand feet above sea level. Okay, the, it's the uh, master control facility out there in northern india you're correct yeah um, but i and I, and they build so i didn't even know it existed until i accidentally saw that documentary it was extremely interesting and um it's amazing what's going on that you don't know about in the land of research um but I, and i don't i can't remember exactly how many dishes but there was quite they a bunch. launched 36 36 leave it to tina to make us proper <laughs> oh, there he is. The human mic <laughs> stand has finally arrived. It's about time. Yes. Hello, yes, Greg. Yes. Greg, happy New Year. How you doing? Uh, yeah, yes. Happy New Year to you, sir. Um, <laughs> how you doing, uh, uh, Jan? Uh, well, we're yeah. doing good, but more or less, more. I, I want to know what's going on with you and your brother. Uh, you know, it's like it's like a cliffhanger. You know, you're, you're, you're putting this up in a cliffhanger thing. Yeah, yeah. He's dying. Oh, you know. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you got to deal with it and you roll with it. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, so I'm so but we're all dying. Greg. You, we're all dying. You, Every one of us is living to die. You know, so the question is, is how far along the line is he? Is he is he in serious condition, critical condition? In between the both, yeah. Okay. But you guys, yeah, I mean, evidently, the back and forth, you know. Evidently, the way you made it sound is that your your relationship is now getting stronger. Yeah, that's Absolutely. a good thing. Congratulations, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I'm embracing. Uh, yeah, Buddhist. Yeah, tendencies. Okay, you know. We're only here for a short period of time, and then, poof, you know. Poof, and that's and that's where religion comes in, you know, because it's the unknown. I mean, we're all scared of the unknown. That's really what it is, you know. Yeah. There's very, I don't know if there's anybody that's not scared of the unknown. It yeah, I most, know, I know. Well, not possibly scared. Tom Cruise. He might be the only person that's not scared of the unknown. <laughs> I, have 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 you guys have you guys seen anything regarding this new Mission Impossible? Uh, yes, yes, and I, I I have to tell you what, as a person who's been in uh, 
at Mach 2 with Mr. Yeah. Uh, he's wacko. Yeah, <laughs> he's just wacko. I mean, okay. you guys have got to go to YouTube, not right this second. I mean, if you're watching us on YouTube, stick with us. But if you're not, you got to make a point. There's a new video that just came up. It's 14 minutes. It's it's HD. It's highest quality you can. I know. I know. And he, and he dropped off from a, from a helicopter, didn't he? No, yeah. this is the one. This is the video that he's doing right now. They built this ramp in Norway where he's driving yeah. a motorcycle at 60 miles an hour up this ramp and it goes off over the cliff. It goes over the cliff. The motorcycle drops away and he goes into a free fall. Yeah. And from my understanding, they did over 500 he had he did over 500 uh, parachute jumps to plan right. for this, and they did over. I, I mean, it's crazy watching this. I mean, it's nuts. And uh, think about being a crew guy there, Jan. You're like going, "Are you serious, dude?" Okay, all right, all right. I'm there for you. I'm there for you. Holy it's not only that shit. it's so far away from it's so far away from anything that they could only get the stuff in there they they had to fly everything in every bit of truss every bit of lights every yeah, and it was, every, it was by helicopter it was that's the only way they could hammer. get there it was north of lily hammer i mean i i don't know um you know you were you were hot in the in the biz uh when uh yeah the olympics were the winter olympics were in lily hammer uh norway you know in the middle of nowhere uh um and um yeah can you imagine how much Yeah, the money that they spent on that, but then I was thinking it's probably not as much as they paid for Top Gun because the U.S. <laughs> military charged them a fortune, a yeah. fortune for for every 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 hour that for they Top used the plane. Uh, Top Gun one, Top Gun, uh, Top Gun two was yes, uh, yeah. Uh, and by the way, speaking of Top Gun 2, if you have Paramount Plus, uh, that Top Gun 2 is now on Paramount Plus, which is really good. I know. I Man, know. there are some and really, I I'm you telling what. you, there are some good movies out there right now on on streaming services. I'm watching this one right now on uh, Amazon Prime is really coming along. They've got this, yep. they've got some originals. There's this thing with Liam Neeson called Memory. It's yes. about this guy that's got, got first yeah, stage of Alzheimer's. No kidding. It's like zooming back and forth. Phew. Yeah. So there you go. That's a tip. You know, there's a tip. By the way. Oh, and by the way. Okay. So YouTube, listen to this, man. YouTube just paid $14 billion. Speaking of streaming rights, $14 billion for the rights to the NFL Sunday ticket. That's it was held wow. by DirecTV, and now YouTube yeah. just has it for four, fourteen billion. That's with a B, not a million. Yeah, fourteen yeah, billion. Know. For how long? Why? How many Why? years? Well, I I'm mean, sure it's more than one Sunday night. <laughs> I mean, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, well, 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 we'll put it this way: we saw a guy die last night. You know, you know. Well, did they, yeah. uh, Who are you did talking about? Did he pass away last night? I saw uh, I'm not I sure. I'm not sure, Fred. But well, I somebody died what? last night. I can guarantee it. Somebody died somewhere in the world. So you're right. Well, my, you know. Uh, uh, but uh, I think uh, if you're talking about uh, Damar Hamlin, he's still yeah. alive. You know. Yeah. Uh, Ken, Ken but Block he died. Came near. Ken Block died. Ken Block died. Oh yeah, Ken Block died. That's correct. Okay, so tell oh, me wow. who Ken Block is. So, you know, for all those people that are as stupid as me and don't know who Ken Block is, who is Ken Block? He created DC Shoes. DC he's, shoes. A, he's a big racing guy. Hooligan he racing. He does all the Jim Connor series. Look up Jim Conna on, on YouTube. I mean, he just does these crazy things. The one for this year, 2023, he's got Travis Piscana in it. It's, it's fabulous. Yeah. They shot one in Vegas. I'm surprised you don't know about it. They shot the one they, they shot, shot the one they shot yeah. through the streets of San Francisco was great. 
The one in San Francisco, uh, I think, was Jim Connor four. Yeah, he died near his home yeah. in uh, Utah. His uh, his snow ski yeah. landed on him. Yeah, yeah. he was snowmobiling. Yeah. And yeah. Over yeah. Yep. that's right. I mean, I mean, holy fifty-five crap. years old. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad. How about that guys. actor? How about that actor that had a snowplow accident? Uh, Jeremy Rayner. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Snowplow. Snowplow well, that, that was plane. like crazy. Somebody he was helping somebody, and then somebody hit his snow snowplow that hit him. No, 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 no. The story I the story I heard was he was helping his neighbor get out, and oh. he went to go get off the snowmobile or the snowplow and didn't have it in park, and then it, it yeah. rolled over. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I heard. He's lucky to be alive. At least he's the lucky to be alive. Was a No, he's and... dead. He's not lucky to be alive, Jan. He's well, dead. He died. No, alive. he's alive. I just he died unless he was... unless he just died. Bro, he's yeah, in the he, Reno he hospital. Just died. They just had a thing of him in the hospital. Yeah, video. Yeah, I mean, I hope his relatives are not listening to this show right now. That's all <laughs> I could say. We got to find somebody who we know who died or Greg is not. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, speaking of speaking of death, speaking of death, I got to go the other way right now and Uh, talk about life. And that is one of our one of one of one of the founding members of this group. Ken Newman got married over the weekend in Catalina Island. Ken Newman got married to Cheryl after, you know, talk to Ken. Jan, so uh, congratulations, Jan, Kenny, Jan. Uh, on on getting married. Well, what well, well, yeah, I congratulated him, but he's also, you know, going to be at in my house, Emily Arena. Um, um, yeah, in ten days. What's he doing? Yeah. Oh uh, no, no, he's doing uh, Barry. Barry Manilow. Okay. <clears throat> he's. So He's much coming to Nashville, too, like the 25th, the 26th. Yep. Oh, yep. Uh, you know, the, the way you said that, he's going to be in your house. I figured, you, you know, you got a plumbing problem, and, you know, Kenny's so knowledgeable no, about everything. No, he can no, help you with no, his, no. He can help you with your no. plumbing, you know? No. <laughs> But he's he's when, you, when he does you, you know you, when he does plumbing so much it, it's it's he gets a lot of money for the plumbing I have to tell you a lot uh, of money I, for the know, plumbing, I, you know? I gotta tell you though though you know I know where you know four hundred and fifty hertz at two hundred and seventy degrees and you know three hundred and fifty hertz you know ping back at uh, you know at you know seven hundred. Uh, yeah, yeah. Seven, Greg, yeah, that's easy for you to say. I have to tell you, you know, that was very easy for you to say. Yep, seven well, years for fourteen billion. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I tell you what, Fred. You know, you you've done Emily. I've done what? Right? You've done Emily Arena, correct? No. Where's that at? Tampa. No, haven't been to Tampa. Oh, is that, isn't there is a that joke like that? No, right, but let's, uh, you know, then we'll save that for next week. The joke. <laughs> but I want to ask Ken Porter a question. Ken, who is Zach Bryan? Zach Bryan or Zach Brown? Uh, Zach Bryan. Zach Bryan is a guy with a very long beard. That's all I know. You know, he's a he's a country music guy, right? Wait, wait, wait. You're talking about. I'm talking about Zach Bryan. <laughs> Zach Bryan. I, I thought he was. I, I I never heard of him before, but I read about him, and he just dropped a surprise album called "All My Homies Hate Ticketmaster." Is it yep. Brian Bryant? It's, it's according Brian, to the, yes. according it's to Brian, Polestar, yeah, it was Brian. Brian. Yes, <laughs> it is Brian. And so, Ken, what do you what do you know about this guy? Not is he anybody uh, that uh, is he is he a big seller? Uh, I don't know much about him. I have there you have with it. The, with what's her name? With the Ticketmaster thing. Yep. Yep. All my yep. homies with hate Ticketmaster. What's her name is the exact thing, uh, Fred. <laughs> I, can't think, I can't think of her name right now. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Yeah, her, him, and Taylor Swift are hanging out together. 
Oh, that's what so, it is. And that's probably why. And anyway, I just hope Zach Bryan's relatives weren't listening in. You know, uh, that's all I could say, you know. So if you know Zach Bryan, tell him I send him my love. And he's more than welcome to come on the panel anytime he wants. Talk about yeah. the album. I know. Bruce has definitely ha has some words about this. I know you do, sir. <laughs> What's that? Oh, whoa. Whoa, what? Come on. Taylor and yeah. Yeah. West Coast gigs. Give Are you break. insinuating that Fred's got a relationship with Taylor Swift that we don't know about? He's holding back because his wife would be very unhappy to hear that. Well, um, oh, not of course not. <laughs> <laughs> He's not talking about, <laughs> talking about Bruce. Uh, oh, yeah, Bruce yeah, is doing I it. No, I would say of Bruce, and then you, you, you flipped it to, uh, uh, you know. Uh, to Fred, so well, I, I, maybe hey. it could have been me, but I'm here in Thailand, so I don't think I could do it. But I would like yeah, that rumor yeah, to start. Yeah. So let's start it right now. Yeah, Taylor, she was really nice last night. She left. To, she left a scarf over the house when she left. Uh, you know, so, right, 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 well, right. I'll look for it. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 I. I. I thought it was. I thought it was on. You know, Wayne's uh, refrigerator, but I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. So, all right, so, okay, so it's New Year's, it's New Year's, we're January 4th, we're January, well, January 4th, we, we're, where you are, January 5th, where I am. So has anybody made any New Year's resolutions and so far kept them? Uh, that's what I want to know. Have you kept any of your New Year's resolutions? Four days in, has anybody kept any of their resolutions? The new, the new thing I want this to hear it from Kurt. Keep a resolution. Pardon uh, the, the thing I read this morning was the new thing for this year is to not keep a resolution. Don't stress yourself out for the year. Just have fun. Be happy. Uh, my yeah, uh, Dan, I want to hear it from uh, Chef Kurt. I'm sorry. All right, Kurt, what's your resolution for this year? Have you kept any? Uh, I didn't really make any, but there is no rule that resolutions have to be for good. Well, That's I made right. a resolution not to make any resolutions. There you go. And I've kept yeah. it. <laughs> I've made a resolution to eat pasta every night. That's it. You know, I'm going to eat pasta every night. You know, 1130 last night, I realized I hadn't eaten pasta. So I got Bo out of bed. So I cooked me some pasta. You know, that's it. Oh, you today's, know. today's National Spaghetti Day, right? You know that, right? Today, <laughs> Say that again. Who's today's that? National Spaghetti Day. Hey. You, you, you broke up, Fred. Sorry, today's National Spaghetti Day. Oh, it's what? Hey, let's have some pasta then. Oh boy, yeah, <laughs> pasta time. You had right, baked beans. Trouble. Do baked beans count? What? Speaking of <laughs> speak, speaking of holidays, <laughs> all the Europe all the Europe manufacturers are closed for another couple of days because they don't come back till like Monday hey. because hey. of some <laughs> holiday. Yep. Like well, the now, the Europeans seem to have a lot of a lot of vacations all the time, you know, and 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 not only that, a lot of them just takes, you know, in, in Spain, they take siestas every day, you know, they wake up, go, you know, and and there is a new there is a new study out there right now. Um, let me see if I could find it, uh, what it is. It's basically called bifastic sleep. Have you heard about this? Well, uh, yes, I have, sir. And uh, no, I disagree. And uh, um, yeah, people just, you know, want to hug their family. So. Well, no, bifastic sleep basically means you sleep twice a day. Instead of getting eight hours at one shot, you get four hours here and four hours there. You know, so like you, uh, uh, it's the newest thing. I'll throw a link in to Humana is now right. uh, touting this. Humana is, uh, you know, Humana, the health company, is touting this bifastic sleep. And the, the concept is based on the same thing as a siesta in Spain, whereas they're saying you don't have to sleep all. You, you need eight hours a day, but if you don't get eight hours at one time, you get four hours here or four hours there. That's the same thing as getting eight straight hours. Yeah. And that probably will give you more time during the day. I don't know how that works, but it's possible. Does that mean right. you have a four hour lunch? <laughs> I've been yeah. on lunch for a long yeah, time now. True. I'll tell you, I don't want to cut down. Out too, gone too. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, so right. where's our resident uh, ring health guy about talking about sleep? Here I am. Uh, no, no, no. We need an artist in here to just go ahead and, you know, keep us sane. No, I meant, who was it used well, to do? Talk about the ring that uh, did the test, whatever, to check in on what you're eating, not eating, and stuff there. And ten oh, minutes. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Viome thing? The Viome? Yes. Yeah, uh, well, I'm on it. Well, guy, I was on it. The bodybuilder guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, are you doing Viome now? Uh, you know, now that you live in Thailand? Uh, well, I try very well. Biome tells you what good food, what, what your body digests and what it doesn't. Right. So, yes, I, I'm still using that formula of what but I don't know if it's still accurate, because what they say is that you're after after a while of eating just the right foods, your body changes around a little bit. And then some foods change and and other foods, okay. other foods are better okay. for you and so, it moves around man, a little bit. But I have not is, taken another test. Yeah. Yeah. No. The answer is no, but they now have a program. Viome now has a program where they can tell you or uh, they could pre-screen for you and give you. Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure exactly how it works, <laughs> but basically they feel they can now tell you before you have cancer. So if you if you if you're in the pre stages well, of yeah, cancer, yeah, I already have cancer. So yeah, you're dancing around the answer. So yeah, uh, so good on you. Good you know, it always it always amazes me, and you maybe could talk about this, but it seems like, you know, it's like you hear these stories about people, they're healthy as can be, and all of a sudden, you know, they go in for they go in for one checkup for something that's bothering them, and next thing they know, they find out that they got four stage cancer somewhere else. Right. So right. you know, I don't know how that works. Yeah. Do you think do you it think sucks. then sorry, go ahead. Can, no, do do you think that um uh all of us are born with um a certain with cancer with yeah. with certain things and and sometimes they come out and sometimes mm -hmm. they don't but it doesn't right. tend to have anything to do with how health, healthily you live it'll just happen anyway the, the sad part about the human life is we all need to get to uh, middle 80s i reckon healthy but sadly most, uh, so many of us don't the um, 70s is way too young to get crook and pass away, I think. But um, yeah. but I think in the land of health, I mean, obviously, the the healthier you you live, you should get some more yeah. longevity. But I think that it, 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 if you're going to get certain bugs, they're in you. Is that? I've had lots of people that have been in their well, yeah, in their under 40 that have got cancer and passed away. I know. Yeah. Well, listen. Know. You know, it it's, 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 it's yeah. It does, the, but there's no there's no rhyme or reason to it, and there's no way you could figure it. Like, I'll give you an example. I don't usually share this information, but my parents, my both my parents died at a young age, and I have outlived them by twice, and I am one of the healthiest no people that I know. And yes, and uh, I knew you back in the uh, NYC. You know, as Greg Baker, uh, a Libra Krebs engineer, uh, you were, yeah, wacko. You know? <laughs> yeah, well, because I did, I did a lot of drugs. I started doing drugs when I was 13, you know, and I continued doing them until I was, you know, until my, until I was in my late 30s, you know? Yep. I mean, there was, yep. you know, there was yep. nothing more than and I liked than getting the, high. That was the thing to do. That's right, you know, you know. And, you know, I, mean, I should have died many, many times. I mean, I, I, right, I should have, right. there's no way in the world that I should be as healthy as I am right now for all the, right. all the shit that I put into my body and the, all right. the things that I did to hurt myself. How many nights that I never slept, you know, how many nights, how many, that, how many nights, yeah. well, you know, like, was when uh, I woke up before me, I knew what I was doing, you know. Uh, uh, why, uh, why, uh, why is it your bar open? You know, uh, yeah, been there, done that. You know, David uh, knew me, and David knew me in my craziest days. I mean, oh, David was yeah. there when they threw me out of the house for being, you know, 
uh what's the Pretty word um, yeah that's right <laughs> sexual deviant yeah. yeah that's right yeah that's it that was a you know uh, did you ever get it yeah that's right is the appropriate word because yeah i knew y'all both and and you um you know did you ever go to sleep in a w bin jay but, no, I've never. I never went to sleep on a W. I I went to sleep on a W. No, no. I actually the, the the one of the experiences. I was working for a band when I was when I was about nineteen years old, and they had just had all their equipment stolen, and they were playing in a bar, and they didn't want to get their equipment stolen again. So they and I was the roadie, and I had to sleep on the bar. Yep. I had to sleep on the bar, but that was okay. I didn't get much sleep that night because there was this bartender there that was really hot, and, and we ended up spending the night at the bar together. But uh, there wasn't a lot of sleeping going on, I could tell you, if you know what I mean. Eh? Eh? You know what I mean? Eh? <laughs> Just staying in the job and staying awake. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, Wayne. Uh, you're looking at a guy who, yes, uh, slept in the back on a road train, you know, Sydney to Perth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was what just a life, the- what a life. So Greg, when have you started, have, have you started writing your book yet? No, no, you know, I, everybody tells me I should write a book, but you know what? Uh, I don't want to tell stories, you know, about- Why not? You have to change the names, that's all. Yeah, just change the name. <laughs> you know what we ought what yeah. we ought to do is take the people in this yep. room and 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 find out all of our notes of all the thing that's happened and do a TV show because that roadie TV show sucked and it yeah. wasn't it wasn't very realistic and I thought it would no, be really no. good and I'll tell you if they took all of our stories especially you guys man you guys. And, and made them into a, like a, a series yeah. for cable TV so the little kids couldn't watch it, of course. I know. It would be really, really interesting. I know. I, I have I know. to tell you, I mean, I have to tell you, you a story that. right now about that, okay? <laughs> I, have to t- I have to tell you a story about that. So this is, and this is, I, I, this is as true as anything I've ever said in my life. So I'm going to, I'm, I, when I'm going into university, I'm going to my university, I just started university, and I'm taking a creative writing class. And all I would do is when I would come into school, is because I, I was so high all the time, I would just talk about what happened the night before with my life. That's all. I would just talk about what. And one day, my teacher asked me to stay after class. And I, had, I thought, man, he's going to call me to the carpet. And he says to me, he says, you know, I've been teaching this class for 25 years, and you are the most creative student I ever had. How you come up with these ideas, I have no idea, but you should, you should definitely focus in on creative writing because you're amazing. <laughs> but I swear to God, everything I was saying was the what happened the night before. The most amazing engineer in this room right now is wearing what? Uh, what are you wearing? And an Arizona T-shirt. My kids, two of my kids, go to U of A, so I got to pick up in a sweatshirt. David's all grandchild right. goes there too, right? Doesn't Where? doesn't Natalie go there? Where the U of A? Yeah, yeah. That's the family school. That's where the Trent went. Yeah, he met his. I am wearing this. Yep. So you guys, right. see, uh, isn't that amazing? That we're not only five degrees of separation, but now even your relatives are less than five degrees of separation. Hey, um, yeah. Kevin you Bacon, you there? You work in the uh, Espo or what? Are you called in? Who are we talking to? Uh, I'm, I'm talking to Kurt. Uh, me? No. Hey, Greg, whatever drugs you're doing, I need you to send me a package. Really, <laughs> whatever it is, send me a package. <laughs> oh, I love man. it. You're just in Thailand. No, no, Kurt, are you? Super, uh, Super Bowl's are ATK. You I got, the Super Bowl? No, Super Bowl's ATK. No. I got nothing to do with it, and neither does Meyer. Yeah. And... I know. Nope, I got I no halfway to the Super Bowl. Isn't it Claire yeah. Brothers doing a Super Bowl? Yeah, well, they own ATK though. No, so I'm, sure, I'm sure it's the same old golf carts and all that stuff that 
been doing it for yeah. years. Yeah. All right, so yeah. listen, I, I have to go soon, but I want to tell you, I just put in into the chat a show, uh, a, a link to Wikipedia who talks about a show that's on streaming somewhere called Mike Judge Tales from the Tour Bus. <laughs> and Mike Judge is the guy who did Beavis and Butthead. So I know. Guy, I know him. Yeah. Well, this, did you, you ever and see I both know him, sir. I don't. I didn't know him, but I mean, the Tales from the Tour Bus was great. It's an animation yeah. with real voices, real interviews, but he animated. Yep. And don't so, don't make a fuss. Just get on the bus. <laughs> it's really yeah. cool. And then he has another one about uh, R and B. I forgot what it was called, but you know, wow. James Brown and Prince and all those. And then, oh, yeah. and uh-huh. he has one about country also. How crazy the country acts were doing. Speed oh. shooting guns and all that crap. Hey David. Yeah. David, before you before you get out of there, did Jan pass on the information about that wireless mic you asked about last week? Yes, he did. And I did looked look- at it. Yeah, it looks interesting. It's it's really small. It's very small. I've used them on on players uh, in baseball and in hockey. They work really well. So I think it would especially the incognito one would work really good for your theater thing. Yeah. The incognito was that digital? Yes. All right. I knew one of the ones I was interested in was. So, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Appreciate that. Cool. Yeah. I saw that. Uh, thank you, Fred, sir. Um, look forward to seeing you on a Friday. I'm going to be on fire. Dan, you better be there on Friday. What's on Friday? Oh, it's Scoville's thing. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Was it yeah. the back lounge or something? The problem yeah, is, yeah, is that yeah. I can't wake up two days. Or I wake up early for this show, you know, because know, it means something know, to me. I know, I know. But, you know, I'd like you, to wake man. up early for. I, 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 I think I sent hey, Scoville David, an email. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Bye David. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Where Bye. are you going, by the way? One more thing, Jen. How do yeah. I turn on the light in the guest room? <laughs> uh, you just walk into the. You walk into the room and say, Alexa, yeah. turn on the guest light. Oh, the guest light. Okay, you got to know that stuff. Uh, turn on the <laughs> guest room, light whatever. In your bedroom, no problem. <laughs> right. Okay. Wow, you really are taking advantage of the whole house. I am believable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. And wait, no. wait till you see the party I'm having tonight. <laughs> oh, please send me pictures. You um, know that's it. You know, <laughs> what time, I'll put David? It in my book. Hi, everybody. What time, David? I'll put it in my book, right? But the problem with my book right. is it's <laughs> about a little Okay. Dan, why don't you just why don't you just stay up all night for Scoville's thing tomorrow, like you did when you were a kid? Yeah, that's right. Well, because I don't do drugs yeah, anymore. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Goodbye. I still got to mix a rock. Yeah, you know. I uh, uh, now one of the Kurt, things. One of the I got, things. I, you know, Kurt, I got the gig for Artemis Two. That's yeah. great. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So for those Look who don't out. know what Artemis 2 is, uh, that's not a cartoon. That's actually a spaceship, I believe. Might as well be a cartoon. Might be a brand of diaper. Yeah. So anyway, oh, Ken yeah. Porter, what's yeah. going on? I want to hear Absolutely. something. I want to hear some good stuff. I want to hear I want to hear what's going on in Nashville. Nashville. Morgan Evans? Well, we had big New Year's Eve event, you know, Kelsey Mellarini headline and a bunch of other acts playing and things on down on Broadway, a bunch of people there. Uh, we're going to, I got people already out, you know, Kelsey Ballerini left from left yesterday, heading to LA for the uh, championship game. Um, she's playing at that. Uh, I've got bands coming in doing stuff. There's a bunch of different yep. off events, corporate things or whatever. I've got uh, Thomas Rec going into rehearsals. They're prepping next week and going to rehearsal the following week, and then they're going to Canada for six weeks. Oh boy, Canada in February, my favorite. And then, uh, cool. Very fair cool. amount of stuff going on, you know, just comedy thing, you know, a bunch of stuff working. Has anybody seen that uh, Blake Shelton show with the Barmageddon? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. I think I want to go down there sometimes see if I can play at the last play the games. Yeah. Kind of out of control. 
Yep. Well, uh, you got to have uh, a mate. There are no show files for it. You just, you're on your own. Oh, yeah. It's out of control. But things have been going on. You know, I'm hearing that manufacturers are starting to uh, ship more stuff. I'm starting to see more stuff come in. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I've had several people told me that I had someone call me the other day and said, can you give me a, build me an S6L 32D case? And I said, well, I have some in progress for, for some other people. He said, well, can you sneak one in for me? He says, said, well, I, I ordered it last week and I got word that they shipped it. Yeah. So yeah. The I mean, that, the week. that's cool. But, you know, I mean, Greg, was it you who ordered it? Greg, did you order the case from him? For you. Did, I just want to know, Greg, did you order that case? Um, no, no. Right, I, there you, go. you had I, to think I, about I, that, I eh? You weren't sure. I own one. I, I mean, yeah. How long? How long did it take you to get the console when you ordered it? Nineteen months. Okay, so just so you know about about uh, we we I had sold a uh, an S6L in April, and they just. And I mean, just finally finished the order uh, like this week. Um, they, they at the last, the very last moment in time of yeah. 2022, they finally shipped the last Maddie card, and now the order is yeah. complete. But it took but from had, April to the end of the year. I have a two yeah. other customers, people, friends that got in consoles too that in the last week, and they're wanting cases. Are like, this is crazy how much coming out quickly out of them. I yeah. know. I, 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 I even played the Scoville card and it didn't work, you know. Uh, and so, uh, yeah. Um, maybe, maybe uh, you know, it, it got better after they moved all their accounting and everything to the Philippines. Yeah. Maybe Yamaha needs to move all their business to the Philippines and maybe they'll ship stuff faster. Yeah. Now, is Yamaha back open yet? Is, uh, are they open? Well, they say they're going to be out of backorder situation by the end of March. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. That is very impressive if that happens. That'll yeah. be great. Anyway, I know, I know, I, and and uh, Disney is like, yeah, so backordered. It it's horrible. Did you say Disney? Yes, Disney, Disney is all Yamaha. Mr. Landy. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. In other words, the orders that are going to the Disney theme parks all over the world are now being shipped. So there, you've heard it here well, first. No, no, they're back. Oh, we haven't heard it here first? No. Yeah, of course. I just said it. You've heard it here first. <laughs> do your own do your own research. And with that, I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, and I want to thank you for watching. And I want to thank you for being part of my life. Uh, that includes everyone. And, and you know who I'm talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> the the big myself up. Anyway, sir. just remember, everything you heard today was an opinion. And I just want to say one thing before we before we go off the air. My New Year's resolution, I, we 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 briefly spoke about it, is to build this show up and to and to and to make it even more fun, more exciting, with more people and more panelists. So if you know anybody that would you would think that would get something out of this, uh, then you should definitely recommend them to come in and sign up for being on the panel. Right. We if need more Aussie panel, friends with Ken. Okay, yeah. sir. So the other thing I will say to you is this, is that we are on LinkedIn. We're, we're streaming live on LinkedIn. We're streaming live on YouTube. We're streaming live on Facebook. Those are the three places we're streaming right now. And we're also, well, there's a fourth place, Twitter. I don't like to mention that because of various reasons, because nobody's watching it on Twitter. I mean, who would? Anyway, but if you are watching it on Twitter, please forgive me because I didn't know it. Uh, anyway, uh, but that's it. So we're, you know, and people are really liking this show. Uh, so um, I really appreciate 
appreciate that. So give it a thumbs up on Facebook. Uh, give it a thumbs up on YouTube, you know, and then subscribe. Uh, I hate to I hate to give that commercial, but uh, everybody does it. So why shouldn't I be? You know, if, if everybody's doing it, it must work. So, you know, click this button right here, wherever it is. Uh, if there is a button right there, um, click it up and and then uh, and, and bring your A game. That's all I can say, because this is exciting. It's called our current event show. Today was uh, January 4th and 5th, because I'm here in the 5th, you're in the 4th, and uh, you should take the 5th, if uh, if not the 4th. Anyway, with that in mind, thanks so much for coming, and before I say goodbye to everybody on YouTube, is there anybody in the room that has anything that they want to share with social media? We need, uh, uh, you know, our Australian uh, question. You're up, dude. Question of the week oh, the from question. Green Sims. So, I'll see if I can make one up right now. So, do you think that electrons have to work harder in cold temperatures? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So, and what about, what about, so Ken Porter just said that he's going to a tour up in Canada. So, that's going to be cold. So, if you... Does it, do you reckon it changes the sound of the boxes? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I leave your gear on. I mean, I mean, uh, you're talking, you know, you're talking to, you know, Fred, you know, who does. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't have anything to do with live PA. I'm just saying, from from a sound standpoint, colder outside, denser air, it's going to change the sound. Yes. Don't, 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 sh don't shut don't shut your stuff that. off either. <laughs> hey, 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 Wayne, Wayne. I got to tell you something. I met a depressed electron the other day. He just wasn't positive. No, nah, they're all negative. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, Dad. Yeah. And I no. thought my jokes were bad. They are. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's going to just uh, slap you. This and if it's being cold, being electrons being cold, isn't that why they're suing Tesla now? All these people coming out and they're going, oh, yeah, we're not getting our range out of our cars because it's really cold outside. Well, no shit. I can tell yeah. you that right now. I live up in Wisconsin and a week and a half ago, we had like almost negative 10 degree weather up here. No I kidding. Friends that had, I have two friends that have Teslas. They won't even charge. Yeah. They, they, they ended up taking them. They ended up just taking them back the other day. And That's trade them in and getting regular gap. Yeah, they, they, you, they, you don't they, hear they that on the news, do you? There was nope. a YouTube video I watched the other day about a guy. He he let one of his his Teslas freeze. He put it on the charger um, when he when they started it. I think they had to turn it on, and the motors generate the heat right. for the back. And after forty five minutes, the car finally started charging. It only charged to like seventy eight percent of the battery. Was minus was like minus thirteen outside or something. Yeah, right. They're being sued. Tesla is being sued right now because in Europe, because it doesn't live up to the, the charge. They say that it should charge an X amount of time, and it's not charging in that X amount of time. So because that's why they're being out. sued. False advertising. It's cold outside. People don't understand what batteries are. It's not yeah. Tesla's only problem. They, other vehicles have the same problem too. Same thing, Ravages, uh, you know, all of them. All the other of them. one, I mean, too, I have... did you ever see how many uh, cars uh, caught fire when it was flooded down in, in Florida? Yeah, in Florida, no kidding. Yeah, you know, I mean, we're talking about, you know, 200K. Um, yeah. Yeah, they... take a battery and put it underwater. Good job. Way to go. Yeah. 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 Hey, Kurt. Kurt, I just want to say, if a, if a physicist came over your house and you want to give them a meal that they'll really appreciate, physicist's favorite food is fish and chips. Fish no. And fish. fish and chips? <laughs> I'm on no. it. I'm on it. Yeah, yeah. It he's, a, he's a much better chef, sir. Actually, I was thinking of doing that last night, but I didn't want the house to smell like fish oil for a week. <laughs> That's kind of a open the doors in the summer sort of thing, I think. <laughs> yeah. It you always know. fish and chips is always a good idea until about a half an hour after you eat it. Kurt is well. the best chef in the house. I tell you what. And I then 
to get out of the put him in front of a gamble and God I think help he you. Found business and become a chef. I think he'll make way more money. Oh, because it's way <laughs> easier. But <laughs> hey, way better hours. I got I, you know, I, I got to tell you something. That, you know, hey, hey, Greg, I just want you to know they they have found finally, si, finally they have found the gene for shyness. You know, <laughs> they finally found the gene for shyness, and they they say that they would have found it sooner, but it was hiding behind two other genes. You know, yeah. um, so. No, I know. But Isn't I'm it yep. Is it Elvis's birthday this week? Doesn't he turn seventy-five or something? Uh, Elvis is dead. Yeah. I, I hate to give you the news, though, please. <laughs> well, some people don't. He's not in the he room. Is. He's not in the room anymore. He's gone. Yeah, Everything, but, everything's but an opinion. He's still here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Although, everything's an opinion. Although we have an Elvis, I have an Elvis, or we have an Elvis tribute show in uh, at one of the theaters in our area this weekend. But they're coming all in with their own equipment. So he was on America's Got Talent or something a couple years ago. So there's a little town in. Sorry, there's a little town in. Um, in New South Wales, it puts on a uh, Elvis festival this time of year, and they it's maybe been doing it for a while. You're moving about there; that's very good. <laughs> Wayne, yeah. did you give up cornflakes as a resolution? Because I haven't seen the cornflakes in a long time. <laughs> no, they're 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 on the fridge. Can you see them on the fridge? No, no, they're, they're hidden. Uh, Your camera's not <laughs> wide enough. The yeah. angle, the angle of the dangle is not the is not displaying. Oh, no, no, not no. displaying it. No, but I have been eating. I've been eating. Uh, Kurt is very attentive. He <laughs> will see everything. He's a gamble engineer. So, uh, yeah. yeah so, so, so Tina is making a recommendation that next week everybody brings their best jokes, and uh, you know we have a joke <laughs> fest. <laughs> so Kurt, um, the um, the the Kellogg's thing. I was actually looking up Yogi Bear and all his ads. <laughs> I didn't believe that in the 50s and, and the bands are sens sensational. You know, in the early 50s, and Yogi Bear's always promoting. Yep. Kellogg's. Yo, boo boo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure well, you know, in the old days, shows. in the old days, it used to be that with the brand name would, you know, would be right in the title of the show <laughs> in, in the beginning, you know, Sunbeam presents the blah, 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 you know, the Sunbeam. Yeah. Tell the truth. By the way, I've been watching some of those old shows to tell the truth. All that waste of time. Waste of time. I tell you, waste of time. Uh, but, um, Dan, uh, 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 sir, are we live? Thing? We're still live, but we're about to go off <laughs> because oh, I wanted to know if anybody had any opinion. And then you, and then yeah, you, yeah, you brought up the fact live. that you know Wayne's Wayne's corner over there. You know, so we uh, talked about the electrons. You know, I've never yeah. met a. You know, the more depressed electron just wasn't positive. That's all I could say, you know. So, yeah, yeah. They're always trying to get to the positive. They're always trying to get to the This is one for the, yeah, this is one for the can. All you right, know. this is it. That's it. Unless Josh wants to bring it off with a with a joke of the week. That, that no, he doesn't. All right, good. Thank God. Finally, I figured out a way how to believe in religion. God, there he is. <laughs> No, Joe, Thank I, you. I, 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 hey, Jan, I had a few jokes. Jan, I did have a few jokes, but none of them seem to work. So, <laughs> well, I still, I still thinking that slipper joke. You know that you. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> All right, with that, ladies and no, gentlemen, no, children no, of all no, ages. No. We will see you next week, same time, same place, same bat channel, whatever yeah. it is. And bring your A game because, uh, we, you know, hey, that's what we're doing, everyone. So thank you again for watching. Remember, you make it happen. Stay safe and healthy. And we will see you again next week. Come in and join the panel. <laughs> and we are off the air. We can figure out how to stop the, stop no, the no, recording. No, no, I, I got to stop the recording. Wait a notice. second. Stop recording. Uh, somehow that's what, what's happening is I got to get rid of this. And uh, we'll be off the air shortly as soon as I can figure out how to do it. But for some reason, it's not letting me do it. It's just not letting me do it. Let's see more, more, more. Stop recording. There we go. I got it. All right. Bye, Bye. everybody.